what's up, what's up? We lost our last game, but we're still feeling good. We played a good player, a tough game. Can't win them all, as they say. Let's just play our normal stuff. I eat too much, man. I still feel ridiculous. Uh, this is the move, right? And castles. And then we will play our amazing knight a5 line. Nobody knows what to do against it. Most people don't, at least. See, already my opponent confused. I always forget to do what to do against um. C5. I know there's something, but I just can't remember. There's all the right stuff. If A3, I just, uh, I just take on C3. But it's slightly better for white. Um, okay. I believe it's bishop takes. Look how fast I am. If e4 was knight c6, I think. <clears throat> Some pressure on f2. Look at this time edge, it's so beautiful. Oh, you know, he didn't go rook e1, he went rook a d1. That's a little better than. You know, because I'm not attacking the f pawn. So maybe I got a little confused. But the position's fine for me still. I'm up a minute on the clock too, which is very useful. Useful stuff. Ah, uh, so knight g4. What's the deal? I mean, I'm just gonna do it, and we'll, we'll figure it out later. <laughs> Cause that's how I roll, baby. Attacking f. I'm attacking e5. I'm putting some pressure on f2. Uh, knight b4 is also like a mild irritant in some lines. What does he do here? If, if bishop f4, I mean, it's probably fine, I guess. So, he wants to go h3 now. Let's see, h6, h3, g5. Pawn takes knight, pawn takes bishop. Looks kind of awkward. Alright, I gotta make a move. f6. Why not? Oh, yeah, why not? If pawn takes, I guess I'm going to take with a knight. But maybe I'll find some more aggressive move like rook takes. But I doubt it. Knight takes. I uh, just got to watch out for bishop d6. Don't blunder that. Position still looks alright. I'm up a minute. My opponent psyched out, obviously. By my, by my speed. Real big time advantage. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come in real handy. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to go back to g4, but it's probably stupid. Maybe queen, queen f7, or queen e8, no, queen f7 to h5 idea. Also, put some like vague pressure on f2 in the future. All our pieces on that f line. But queen h5 is where I really like the queen, kind of creating issues involving knight b4. Um... Alright, let's do this. Knight b4 is a winning threat. Because then I'm attacking... Oh, not winning. He has queen d1. Sorry. But it's it's an annoying threat. So knight b4, queen d1. Hmm. Sorry, let me just think for a second. Knight b4, queen d1. I'm actually going to do this. I'll make some weaknesses. I don't know if I should do it. I'll do it anyway. I don't know. If g4, I mean, part of me wants to just take it. It might be good. Let me think. Yeah, why not? I'll just take it if he goes g4. Uh, the idea is sometimes g5, but I don't think I ever really want to go g5. So, I don't know. I'm probably just going to take that.
Maybe before do anything? I don't think so. I like to go knight f5 here. We gotta keep that time edge still. We're attacking his knight, by the way. Important, important information. God, I wanna take that. I wanna take that. I think I'm gonna do this instead, though. Keep the tension. have a lot of interesting ideas in the future. Um, like g6 to f4? I'm concerned about that f4 square. If I was, if I was him, I'd be very concerned. Okay, he's concerned too, because he, he's out, got out of the way, but... Sorry, like queen c7 maybe? Then he goes knight b5 to... The d6. It's the most pathetic move ever, a6. What the hell am I doing? I just want to go queen c7, but it's like a really passive move. I'm just thinking about f4. I just I just want f4 with my knight. So I'm just planning queen c7, knight f4. That's exactly where I wanted to go anyway. I can't move my f knight because of the d7 pawn, so. And he's very low on time here. Uh, I'm gonna just take that. And then knight f4. And I'm winning. Mm. Okay, I'll just take. Maybe queen h2. Yeah, this can't be bad. I'm throwing knight g4. Okay, knight e4. Threatening to take on f2. He can't take his queen f2 is mate. Uh, rook f3 is winning. I played a good game. Wow. I'm just playing good lately, man. I don't know what to say. Even when I lose, it's okay. Roland Lusher. I feel like I played this guy before, but I didn't enter his, um... Oh no, I have played... I did enter his whole name. So yeah, that was a, like a nice... Nice performance, I thought. Let's take a look at the game. <coughs> Excuse me. This opening... I forgot Rook D1. Um... See, a lot of times, instead of this rook being in d1, the f rook is here, and then the f pawn becomes a target. Whereas in this case, it wasn't true. So I don't know in this position what's exactly happening. Houdini thinks it's fine after f6, so... Let me make sure I didn't have any other move at any point, though. d6 it likes. Just stopping e5. I mean, that's true. Perfectly reasonable, also. Yeah, I mean, this felt okay for me. What did I do here? I like that move. It says knight g5. I guess the idea is if queen h5, bishop f3. So I just didn't... I don't know. Didn't think about that so much. I thought I had a nice practical position here. I mean, computer thinks it's okay for me, which is fine. As long as it's okay, I'm happy. Knight e7 I like, but knight e5 it says is actually good. Hmm. I don't know, man. I'm surprised it wasn't even more better for me than, than it is. Knight h4? What? I don't even understand. Knight h4. Oh, my bishop won b7. Okay. But instead, he, he, he lured my queen to the square it wanted to go, and then, then he's losing. So I don't know. I felt like from a practical standpoint, the position was more pleasant for black, but the computer sort of likes his position. So I don't know. Or it doesn't like it. It thinks it was like pretty decent. Uh, after this, it was just over. Uh, and then e4 was strong. Everything crashing through on f2. Well, thanks for watching. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.